Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher and Roy Keane have all backed Manchester City to triumph in the Premier League this season. Sunday's clash at the Emirates between Arsenal and Liverpool marked an opportunity for Jurgen Klopp's side to extend their lead at the top of the table to eight points. The Reds were unable to seize the title initiative in North London, however, and Arsenal ran out 3-1 winners to close the gap between the two sides to just two points. Despite their victory, Neville insisted that a lack of an attacking focal point compared to their rivals will ultimately prove to be the Gunners' downfall in the title race. I think Arsenal actually when I watched them are a better team than Liverpool. Neville said on Sky Sports. But I think Liverpool are more ruthless team. They're more ruthless in the final third. And I think that could just cost them at the end. I mean, at the start of the season said I thought Arsenal would win the league but still there's so many signs today of Arsenal not having that killer instinct in the final part of the pitch that I think at some point in the last part of this season is going to hurt them. So for me, they're a really well coached team, their system is good, that way of playing is good, but just that really important last bit, they've got Jota, they've got Salah, they've got Gakpo, they've got Diaz, they've got so much threat Liverpool. Carragher agreed with the assessment and added that he believes Arsenal's victory will actually benefit City as they chase a record-setting fourth successive Premier League title. Arsenal, are back in the hunt if you like but if I'm being totally honest, I think today's result is a better result for Man City than is for Arsenal. You said before you think Arsenal might have the edge of Liverpool and Liverpool are more clinical. I think Manchester City will look at Liverpool as a big threat in terms of the title because we've been there before and we've got players who have done it before so for me, tonight, I think the biggest winners are Man City. Roy Keane likewise agreed that neither side will be able to match the defending champion's pace as the season draws nearer to its conclusion. I think I having watched the game I know that Liverpool have had an off day and Arsenal are still nice on the eye but I still couldn't see these two teams finishing ahead of Man City. I just can't. Listen, I've been proved wrong before but when you look where City are and of course you have De Bruyne coming back, Haaland's available I don't see them two teams going right to the end that I think in terms of keeping up with Man City I just can't see it. City currently sit five points behind Liverpool but have two games in hand that could see them retake top spot. The Citizens will also play both of their title rivals before the end of the campaign, first travelling to Anfield to take on Liverpool on March 9, before playing host to Arsenal at the end of that month.